Hey, welcome back. It's time for movie news with the loose. How are the box. you? Good. How are you? Welcome. Good, 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 good. So exciting because we are going into like October. Yeah. Uh, signifies the start of when award type movies come out. Oh. So we have just one more weekend, then we'll start seeing you know some real heavy hitters. Which you're excited but about. But there, there's some good things out this weekend. Um, this one's a little scary. It's mm. called Smile. Despite the topic, <laughs> after witnessing a bizarre traumatic accident involving a patient, a doctor starts experiencing frightening occurrences that she can't explain and must confront her troubling past in order to survive and escape a horrifying new reality. Oh, gosh. So, um, oh. Paramount originally made this film streaming. It was going to be streaming, but then um, it did quite well, and so they're like, "Hey, let's I put can't it even in watch the previews. I can't even watch the previews. Mm -hmm. It's very it scary. Look it's, look out it's out today. It's out today. It's out now. Now, this is, is this your kind of movie, Bros? This. Oh, is the scary. This one. Eh, okay. It's, yeah. Uh, it's a. Oh, they're okay. Yeah. They're not. They're not at the super top of my list. I, understand. I mean, I love Halloween, the right. original. Like I'm excited about next week. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll talk about that. Oh, okay, next we'll week. talk about that. Um, out this together. weekend, bros, two men with commitment problems attempt a relationship. So Billy Eichner, he's really hilarious. He co-writes this, and then Judd Apatow is behind it. So it's huh? a bit of a groundbreaking film. Mm -hmm. And then new. I thought this was only going to Apple TV Plus, but it's actually on the big screen. Screen as well, the greatest beer run ever, which has a funny title, but it's based on a memoir by uh, a guy who his friends get drafted to Vietnam, oh, wow. and uh, so he's like, we got to do something, and so he makes it his mission to make sure they have some beverages, okay, if well, you will, yeah. while they're fighting. So Zac Efron stars, Russell Crowe, even Bill Murray is in okay. this. Oh, cool. Wow. Well, we haven't seen Russell Crowe in a while. No. And Bill Murray, he, funny story about Bill Murray, he uh, does not, he has a 1-800 number that you call, like if, if we wanted him to be in, in our movie, we would call that 1-800 number, leave a message. And then he'll decide if he wants to get Are back to us or not. Are you serious? That's how everyone has to find him. Do you have that, that number? I don't, I don't have that number. I'm not that cool. Uh, well, uh, that's the problem. You I wonder how many, how many messages are on that 800 number. I don't know, I'm but call it. and, and who, he who just goes through all he that? picks and chooses what he wants to do, and I like that. so this must you know really mean something to him. That's so. that's really cool. Yeah. And then I don't know if you're a hocus pocus lover. We do. We same. were talking about that. Yeah, yes, we do yeah. like it. And so it's on Disney Plus, not theatrical, but Hocus Pocus Two is out. Three young women accidentally bring back the Sanderson sisters to modern day Salem. I love me some Bette Midler. Uh, she's so she can good. do yeah. no yeah. wrong. <laughs> and she's, you know, quite a, a threat singing, <laughs> acting, <laughs> dancing, the whole works. You got it all. I love SJP, Sarah Jessica Parker, <laughs> and then Kathy and Jimmy. So they're all back. And then initial filming took place between October 2021 and January 2022. But after two test screenings that uh, showed it was kind of a week. But, oh. So then they reshot some things um, in early June 2022. So that wasn't that long ago. So you're saying so, it went into a few movie theaters? It, and they no, get... it uh, it tested like they'll do test audiences and then um, did some tweaking of the shooting. So make oh. it make it a little bit better. So, so this they is got fresh. It's, it's super fresh. Right off the press. Right off the press. Interesting. And then new on. Netflix is the reboot of the Munsters. Oh, so hey. Rob Zombie usually makes a bit of a scarier, bloody type of movie because he's actually quite a good director. Uh -huh. But uh, he did want to film this in black and white, but Universal Pictures is like, I don't think so. And so he went the exact opposite way and went like, Crazy with all this color, but it's sort of a prequel to how uh, l the Munsters met. Oh, cool! And then them, you know, coming to um, from Transylvania. Is that the same girl? 
Uh, but there is a couple of cameos. Oh, it looked, and it looked like by, it was her. I think Lily yeah. Munster and maybe the son. Yeah, that's so, cool. And then remember we were talking about Don't Worry Darling, which has had so much, um, oh, scandal around it, if you will, which is the Olivia Wilde directed movie. And it's so slick. It has Florence Pugh and Harry Styles, uh, Chris Pine. This movie was not what I thought it would be, mm -hmm. and so it took me on some twists and turns. So I really liked that. That is fun. And it's fun. Florence Pugh can do no wrong. I've loved her since uh, uh, Little Women. She yes. was in that. I loved her in Black Widow, mm -hmm. and then Chris Pine's an unsavory character. So I was supposed to not like him, and I didn't. <laughs> but <laughs> Olivia Wilde, like it's set in the fifties, and just the cars and the houses and yes. the clothes. And cool that looks the makeup. Good. It's just Food the coolest home, looking. Screen. She's a great director. Yeah. Mm. I, I just love her. So the this, golden age. Yeah. I mean, despite all of the, you know, did Harry Styles spit on your or did Chris Pine spit on Harry or did Harry spit on Chris? All of that. I mean, that's just silly. It's it's a good I liked it. I think I would like that. That looks like a great movie. And, and like you said, I always think it's fun when they take they take it someplace where you do not expect. No, I mean, so I'm it. like, I'm deep into it, you know, yeah. and I'm like, wait, what? I know. What is happening? You want to try to figure it out, and then you can't. Yeah. And yeah. Harry Styles has been getting in quite a bit of acting, right? You know, right? he is, he's a great performer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I mean, not only, you know, on st singing and on stage and stuff, but he, the small roles that he's had in movies, he really is good. Good for him. Yeah. He's really yeah. good. Yeah. That's awesome. So, do you have anything that you're excited about seeing that might be coming out? I know you don't like Halloween. No, it's coming I, out. I don't want the scary stuff as far as the ones you, that you showed today the one with Harry Styles I, I would be interested in yeah, because I'll, Halloween I'll like ends is coming out soon but will Halloween ever end does it will Michael Myers mm, ever die? Just... no out, Michael Myers is gonna live longer than all of us combined. yes you will outlast all of us <laughs> I'm scared Chris you know this I don't want to do that okay guys we'll be back right after this <laughs> I don't like the scary stuff <laughs> I get nightmares